It is Magic 107.5, 97.5, the real sound of Atlanta. I'm sitting in the studio with the 2020 Georgian of the Year, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. She's on the cover of uh, Georgia Trend. Inside they have the 100 most influential Georgians, but you are the Georgian of the Year. You get like a certificate? I don't know. I got a magazine, and I'm so excited. I mean, this is, I'm just, I'm giddy about it. It is such an honor, but it's such an, such a, an incredible honor, and I'm almost at a loss for words because, you know, we talk about being from Atlanta all, right. all of the time. I can trace my roots back to a plantation in Crawfordsville, Georgia, and I have a picture of my grandmother's grandfather who was a freed slave and when I think about my family's history and I think about what his life must have been like Mm -hmm. um, to be the Georgian of the year I think just speaks to to God's plans for Mm -hmm. all of us that they are just much bigger than we can begin to imagine and I always quote my Angelo uh, the line from Still I Rise I am the hope of the slave so this is, it's just an incredible honor. I didn't know I would be as giddy as I am when I saw the magazine, but it makes it real. Yeah, that's dope. You know, the last time we, we talked, you said that one of the things that you had uh, done was, like, once you became mayor, it was so many things going on. It was this and that and this event, the Super Bowl and, you know, the Final Four. And, I mean, uh, SEC, like, you was like, I had to look back and just realize I hadn't had time to, like, enjoy all of that have you done anything different this year so no i still struggle walk with over that here? <laughs> well and that really is uh, i'm not big in making new year's resolutions but right. just kind of life goals just mm-hmm. to savor the moments more and i think just based on how i process information i have to read and i have to write to remember things right i think that i should start writing more and just be more thoughtful about keeping a journal. I, that's what I did. I went into the the, the Barnes and Noble and bought a journal, and then I was like, "Good God, it's twenty five dollars! Y'all crazy!" But now, but I, you got to get it from TJ Maxx and no. Marshalls. No, I, I just sent my my cousin. Now he got me one. <laughs> we'll put that on your <laughs> wish list. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, and I said something about it just on the radio yesterday that I was in a restaurant the other day and I was reading the paper, and I said, and people were like, "You were doing what?" I was like, "Cause they had them right there." And I flipped it open, and it said Friday night at the Buckhead Theater. you love this, Falana. They're doing a silent headphone party, right? It's East Coast versus West Coast Ooh. versus Dirty South. And I was like, you know, look, you should see the mayor's <laughs> face. I was like, that sounds like that, that. That might be all right. I like that idea. I think we should do something like that. That would be crazy. That would be hot. Yeah. I like that. But I'm, I won't be here. I'll be in, in Iowa. I'm very excited about going to You're Iowa. Going to Iowa. But I'm going to miss that party. Well, now we got to do one. Falana, get that work. All right, let's talk about Fix It ATL. 23,000 potholes since the inauguration. Yes, 23,000. And I know people um, people still complain about potholes. and Because they kill cars. But please take a picture. We have an ATL 311 app. Send it in. We are fixing potholes. And people have told me they can definitely tell the difference. I always say my best polling data comes from walking into the nail salon or the barbershop. Mm -hmm. And people tell you how they feel. And I went into the nail salon one day and somebody said, we really appreciate what you're doing on these potholes. So that's why I know it's making the difference. Because they're saying something to you. Yep. Because people will tell you what they don't like. And it's census time, too. It's census time. We've been talking about this for a minute. Probably the biggest thing that will happen um, this decade. It's all about counting, counting, counting. And the reason we have to give this information is because that's how dollars flow into our city to help with our health care, help with our schools, to help with our streets. And people often don't want to share information because we, as African Americans, are often reluctant to give information, but this is extremely important. It's how we get our federal dollars and our representation in Congress. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of great support. I know, Ryan, you've been supportive. I have. Just um, with star power, 
people lending their name. 21 Savage has been great, and it's really good because, you know, there have been discussions about his immigration status, and especially for our immigrant community, concerned and afraid to share information. Everyone needs and deserves to be counted. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Are you going to go out and knock on doors? I probably will. I can see you doing that. I will. When I campaign, I really enjoy knocking on doors, and I have a weird memory about things. If I see someone and they'll say, oh, you knocked on my door, I live on Lenhurst, I can right. tell them exactly where they live. It's really? Real, it's bizarre. That's, that's called something. Like, that's that's a, a skill. Yeah, I can't tell you what I ate for breakfast, <laughs> but <laughs> I or... If I pass a house, I can remember the person who lived there and who I talked to. It's really weird. Really? I wish I could. Perfect Recall, is that it? I wish I could. I think that's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, <laughs> Sam, but go ahead. Oh, that's Total Recall? And I have a weird. Walmart has a recall. Completely unrelated, but sort of a weird thing with phone numbers and birthdays. I can remember people's birthdays from fourth grade and their telephone number. Strange. If somebody still got the same phone number from fourth grade, Mayor, y'all been friends a long time. You're right. they didn't have no phones for kids then. So that had to be like, this is a duck. Wah, 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 but you know, people's wah. parents still have Here's their landlines. Mm. And they live in the same place. I don't know how we got from Georgia trend, the census to. That's what it is. That's what my, Georgia is. My, my weird. This is a cow. Uh, <laughs> mm. When you come to a Hawks game. weird recollection. Um, we got eight. Soon. You, you keep saying that. No. I, Rockets in town tonight. James Harden and the crew. Well, I will. I will be there whenever you tell me to be there. You gotta come. We got eight home, nine home games in the month of January. Okay. You gotta figure out one to come to, and then we got HBCU night coming up. Oh, that's, that's what I'll say. The information on that. That's what we need to. That'd be great. You go out, do the national anthem in sign language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not singing the national. That was quick. Anthem. That was quick. That was quick. Oh my god, this is good. <laughs> that's about all I. The man, quick and hey, ooh, ooh. oh. But you know, my son Lennox. Loves basketball. He is. He probably would like to see the pros live. He would. He asked me, um, "When will he get to go?" You so, should do that. Okay, I will but, do that. All right. Let's. You know, it's all over the news. The the street racers, and I know the. Uh, they're saying they're going to try to do more to cut down on what's going on. Oh, we seeing all these like vigilante acts. The the lady who was tried to get carjacked in the Macy's parking lot. Like, are these one group of? Of individuals, or it's just random acts. Like, what are, what are what are you hearing? What are they, what are you what are your people telling you? I think it's a couple of things. Most of the people that we arrest, which we have a very high arrest rate, yeah. Um, and our crime was down two point seven percent. I think that was the number I got this morning overall last year. Now, I'm, okay, <laughs> that's what I used to tell your predecessor. I was like, that sounds good, unless you're the man who got hit in the head. Well, I was. That was what I was <laughs> about to say. Right. Um. Which means nothing to somebody whose house has been broken into right. or their their car has been stolen. But we find that there are these repeat offenders, right? And um, and they're getting younger and younger. And the reality is that I think it, there are a lot of things at play, but a, a lack of respect for authority. And we talked about this before we came back on the air. I mean, where the woman was shot at Macy's, right? Um. There's a, a huge police presence at Macy's, and I've shared publicly before, somebody was shot around the corner from my house, literally, right around the corner. Someone, I mean, they they knew each other, but a guy shot a guy in his driveway, and a police car sits in front of my house. Now, no, that doesn't make people feel better, right? but I'm sharing that to say, even if we had an officer on every single corner, there's only so much that we can do, which is why we've had really a push on getting to the root cause and why our young people are turning to crime. Mm-hmm. So it's why we've been working with the Police Foundation to open up these at Promise Youth Centers. It's a reason that through our office, One Atlanta, we've been very thoughtful about creating a mentorship program. We have worked to match. We've already gotten 100 matches with big brothers and big sisters so there are so many things that we have the ability to do before we con- come in contact with folk who are now in front of a part of the criminal justice system. Any, uh, I'm not going to say backlash, that's too harsh. Any any negative feedback from deciding not to do the peace drop? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> <True>. From <laughs> my kids act like they've been balling out at the peach drop for their entire lives. I mean, I hear from them like every other day. Mom, why you do that, Mom? Why you do that? Yeah, the, you know, then I put this up on social media. <laughs> my um, son, my, Lennox, is trying to shame me about <laughs> sure. not getting Mom him, shame. getting him something on Amazon. So he's like, you don't care about me. I'm like, get out of my room because I don't want to hear it. And then his twin sister jumps in. They both go, boo. And then Lennox is like, boo, just like you canceled the peach drop. <laughs> boo. And then he gets on his scooter with his leg. His, and his, scoots away. And, and, like, goes down the hallway real fast on his scooter. Just like you canceled the peach drop. Yeah. But it is coming back. It's coming back. And I was reminded in our agreement in the Gulch, part of the Gulch deal is that they have to host the peach drop each year. So I'd actually forgotten about that. Somebody what? reminded me of it. Yes. So that's part of our agreement. That'll be dope. That will be. But meanwhile, Falana's already working um, with Ebony and the team to make sure that the peach drop is going to be bigger and better and this the gold. year. We're going to... We're going to do a day party peach drop because, you know, I can't stay up past nine. Five, four, three, two. It's five o'clock. <laughs> but no, but really, seriously, I just wish that everyone who claimed they cared so much about the peach drop had shown up for the peach drop. So hopefully when it comes back, people will actually show up. And um, but we had a really bad string of, of bad weather, though, Mayor. We did. I mean, it was like. So, and I was the host. I was like, I don't know if I'm walk out there. Well, Falana said when she looked at my face in 2018 when we were there, she said she knew we weren't going to be doing it again. She looked at your face. Because it was cold. It was cold. It rainy. was raining. I mean, and then they just had slurpy drinks. I was like, if we're going to do this, we need to have a Hennessy bar. So There's a fountain. But since people care so much about it, yes. I am sure they will be willing to support it. And then some people told me they just like watching it on TV. So I understand that. You could have ran an old one. It just changed the numbers. And then on. Hey, it is on! Um, Derek and I were having lunch somewhere during the holidays, and he heard this older white couple sitting near us. And the waitress said, Oh, what are you doing for New Year's Eve? They said, Well, we usually go to the peach drop. We won't be doing that this year. So and they cut their eyes over at you. It was an equal opportunity offender. Now, <laughs> Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, you know, I mean, we. this is your hour to do what you want, say what you want. I think we covered everything. Well, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you. Thank you. You, um, my mother always says a friend in need is a friend indeed. And you are always my friend. And Thank I you. do appreciate you. Well, All of you are. Are you going to walk back? Well, I need 15 more minutes of walking. So I go walk back? think that I will walk back. All right, then. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is about to make her exit, walking back to City Hall. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I have a big birthday January 18th. How big? It's really big. 70! Big, big, big. Yes. Ooh. Are you going to have a party? I don't know. You know what you do? It. <laughs> do it at Tyler Perry Studios. I think I am having that's a party. That's where we want the peace drop back. Yes. Everybody who didn't go to that party, that's where we want everything at. I know. It's Tyler a, it's, Perry Studio. It's incredible. It's I mean, it's like going to Disney World, isn't it? Tyler Perry Studio. Yeah. That's what we need to have your Magical. party at. On well, a Cicely Tyson soundstage room. All right. Turn up, Cicely Tyson. <laughs> <laughs>